St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha is a British overseas territory in the southern Atlantic Ocean consisting of the island of St. Helena, Ascension Island and the island group called Tristan da Cunha. It was previously known as St. Helena and Dependencies until September 1, 2009, when a new constitution came into force giving the three islands equal status within the territory. Administrative Divisions Administratively, the territory is divided into the same three parts as the territory's geography, namely St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha. Each is governed by a council. The governor of the territory presides over the St. Helena Legislative Council, while he or she is represented by an administrator on Ascension Island and an administrator on Tristan da Cunha that preside over these two areas' island councils. See Constitution section below. The island of St. Helena is then further divided into eight districts. History Of volcanic origin, the islands of St. Helena, Ascension Island, and Tristan da Cunha were all formerly separate colonies of the English Crown, though separately discovered by several Portuguese explorers between 1502 and 1504. Portuguese discovery The Portuguese found St. Helena uninhabited, with an abundance of trees and freshwater. They imported livestock, fruit trees and vegetables, and built a chapel and one or two houses. Though they formed no permanent settlement, the island became crucially important for the collection of food and as a rendezvous point for homebound voyages from Asia. Englishman Sir Francis Drake very probably located the island on the final lap of his circumnavigation of the world. Further visits by other English explorers followed, and, once Star Helena's location was more widely known, English warships began to lie in wait in the area to attack Portuguese carracks on their way home from India. In developing their Far East trade, the Dutch also began to frequent the island and made a formal claim to it in 1633, but did not settle the island by 1651 largely abandoned it in favour of their colony at the Cape of Good Hope. English and British Colonisation in 1657 the English East India Company was granted a charter to govern St. Helena by Oliver Cromwell, and the following year the company decided to fortify and colonize the island with planters. The first governor, Captain John Dutton, arrived in 1659, and it is from this date that St. Helena claims to be Britain Euro unregistered trademark s second oldest colony. A fort was completed and a number of houses were built. After the restoration of the English monarchy in 1660, the East India Company received a royal charter giving it the sole right to fortify and colonize the island. The fort was renamed James Fort and the town Jamestown, in honor of the Duke of York and heir apparent, later King James II of England. The Kingdom of England became part of the New Kingdom of Great Britain in 1707 and then the United Kingdom in 1801. The British Empire grew into a global great power. The most important and first settled, the island of St. Helena, had been governed by the East India Company since 1659. It became internationally known as the British government's chosen place of exile of Napoleon Bonaparte, who was detained on the island from October 1815 until his death on May 5, 1821, and it was made a British Crown colony in 1834 by the Government of India Act 1833. Unoccupied Ascension Island was garrisoned by the Royal Navy on October 22, 1815, shortly after which the end of the Age of Sail made its difficult location in the equatorial doldrums less important relative to its strategic importance as a centrally positioned naval coaling station. For similar reasons Tristan da Cunha was annexed as a dependency of the Cape Colony on August 14, 1816, at the settlement of the Napoleonic Wars. For a short period just prior, Tristan da Cunha had been inhabited by a private American expedition who named the territory the Islands of Refreshment. The political union between these colonies began to take shape on September 12, 1922, when by letters patent Ascension Island became a dependency of St. Helena. Lightly populated Tristan da Cunha, even today little more than an outpost with a population of less than 300 followed suit on January 12, 1938. The three island groups shared this constitutional relationship until September 1, 2009, 
when the dependencies were raised to equal status with Street to Helena and the territory changed its name from St. Helena and Dependencies to St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha. World War II and subsequent military presence, during the Battle of the Atlantic of World War II and the following several years of U-boat warfare in the Atlantic, both St. Helena and Ascension Island were used by the Allies to base patrolling anti-surface commerce radar and anti-submarine warfare forces against the Axis Powers naval units. Initially long-range naval patrol flying boats were used in the effort, and later in the war during the struggle to improve air coverage over the commercially important sea lanes, airstrips were built to support land-based aircraft which supplied augmented and complemented the PBY Catalina patrol planes in the vitally important ASW mission. The United States and Great Britain still jointly operate the airfield on Ascension, which also serves as a space-based communications, signals intelligence, and navigation nexus and hub. One of only five GPS satellite ground stations is located there. Geography the territory stretches across a huge distance of the South Atlantic Ocean with the northernmost island, Ascension, having a latitude of 7 a degree 56 a euro squared s of the equator and the southernmost island, Gough Island, at 40 a degree 19 a euro squared s. Between St. Helena and Tristan da Cunha is the Tropic of Capricorn. The distance between the northern tip of Ascension Island and the southern tip of Gough Island is 2,263 miles. The whole territory lies in the Western Hemisphere and has the same time zone, Greenwich Mean Time. Daylight saving time is not observed. Ascension has a warm, arid climate, whilst St. Helena is more moderated and Tristan much cooler. The highest point of the territory is Queen Mary's Peak on the island of Tristan da Cunha, with an elevation of 2,062 metres above sea level. The mountain is listed as an ultra-prominent peak. Although all three parts of the territory were formed by volcanic activity, only the Tristan da Cunha group of islands are volcanically active at the moment. A famous mistake that is generally acknowledged, is about the size of Gough Island. The actual size is between 66 km 2 to 68 km 2, but UK records show it as 91 km 2. Territorial Waters the territorial waters of the islands extend out to 12 nautical miles from their coastal baselines. The exclusive economic zones extend 200 nautical miles from the islands' baselines. Despite their size, the three EEZs do not overlap or touch one another, nor do they reach the EEZs of any other country or territory. The territory has the largest EEZ of any of the British overseas territories and if included in the ranking of countries by size of EEZ, the territory would be 21st, behind Portugal and ahead of the Philippines. Neither the islands nor their EEZs are the subject of any current international dispute. An application was made in 2008 by the United Kingdom to the United Nations Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf to extend the limit of the Continental Shelf claim of Ascension Island beyond 200 nautical miles. The Commission recommended in 2010 that the limit not be extended beyond the standard limit based on scientific surveys. Constitution The St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha Constitution Order 2009 enacted a new constitution for the territory, which came into effect on September 1, 2009. Although raising Ascension and Tristan da Cunha to equal status with St. Helena, the constitution is divided into three chapters, one for each part of the territory. St. Helena has a governor and a legislative council, whilst Tristan da Cunha and Ascension each have an administrator and an island council. Notably the constitution includes the fundamental rights and freedoms of individuals. St. Helena also has an executive council. The governor of St. Helena is the British monarch's representative across the territory. The three parts of the territory share the same attorney general, and the same Supreme Court and Court of Appeal. European Union the territory is an overseas country or territory of the European Union, with limited aspects of European Union membership applied to its administration, its laws and its citizens. It does not however form part of the European Union. Currency St. Helena used sterling currency as in the United Kingdom until 1976 when it began to issue its own banknotes at par with sterling. In 1984, 
the territory also began to issue its own coinage, similar to the coinage of the United Kingdom but with different designs on the reverse. The St. Helena currency also circulates on Ascension Island, but not in the other part of the territory, Tristan da Cunha, where UK currency circulates. The currency commissioners, part of the government of St. Helena, issue the St. Helena pound bank notes and coins. There is no central bank, with the currency pegged to pound sterling which is controlled by the Bank of England in London. The Bank of St. Helena is the territory's only bank. The bank sets its own deposit and lending rates and has branches in Jamestown on St. Helena and Georgetown on Ascension Island. Although the bank does not have a physical presence on Tristan da Cunha, the residents of Tristan are entitled to use its services. Communications Each of the three main islands has a harbor or small port, situated in the island's chief settlement. A military airfield exists on Ascension Island with regular flights between RAF Bryce Norton in the UK. These are primarily for RAF use, though some civilian use is permitted. Ascension Island is also used by US military and was a designated emergency landing site for the Space Shuttle program. At present there is no airfield on St. Helena Island, but a civilian airport is proposed and is scheduled to open in 2015, with flights to and from South Africa. The islands of Tristan da Cunha are connected only by sea. Telecommunications, Shore South Atlantic provide the telecommunications service in the territory. St. Helena has the international calling code plus 290 which, since 2006, Tristan da Cunha shares. Telephone numbers are four digits long. Numbers start with 1 a year or 9, with 8XXX being reserved for Tristan da Cunha numbers and 2XXX for Jamestown. Ascension Island has the calling code plus 247 and also has four digit numbers on the island. Ascension Island also held an extensive broadcast facility for international shortwave transmissions to Africa and South America. Mail, Ascension Island, Tristan da Cunha and St. Helena all issued their own postage stamps which provide a significant income. The three main islands of the territory each has their own Royal Mail Postal Code, Ascension Island, ASCN1ZZ, St. Helena, STHL1ZZ, Tristan da Cunha, TDCU1ZZ, the last operating Royal Mail ship a Euro or MS St. Helena a Euro runs to and from Cape Town to the islands. It is expected to continue until the construction of the airport on St. Helena Island. Vehicular traffic, St. Helena has 138 km a Euro 118 km paved and 20 km unpaved a Euro of roads. Tristan da Cunha has approximately 10 km of paved roads, while Ascension has around 40 km paved. Each island has its own vehicle registration plate system. Traffic drives on the left in all three parts of the territory, as is the case in the United Kingdom itself. Indeed, Two of the nearest countries to the islands are Euro South Africa and Namibia Euro also drive on the left. Maps. See also. Bibliography of St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha, British Overseas Territories, List of Towns in St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha, Public Holidays in St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha. References. External links. The official government website of St. Helena, the official government website of Ascension Island, the official Tristan da Cunha website, Radio St. FM Street Helena Online, St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha Entry at the World Factbook, St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha Travel Guide from Waikiki Voyage.